All right, today I'm going to look at the exhaust system on this uh, 1977 MGB chrome bumper conversion. Um, so uh, there's some good parts and some bad parts with the existing exhaust, uh, exhaust system. First of all, a little rusty, but you know what? This is not stainless steel. This is a standard stock type exhaust system. It has good integrity. This, these down pipes, um, are um, are in good shape and the thing about this is that you know uh, rust can be deactivated with uh, phosphoric acid so um, once you um, once you clean it up the phosphoric acid becomes uh, inactive and it won't rust anymore so that's the plan here I'm going to pull off these um, these down pipes and try to salvage them now right here previous owner decided Instead of using as well as as well as using a a clamp, they also welded it. Uh, so I'm going to cut this weld right here and see how much. Uh, maybe I'll cut it back here and see how much of this I can salvage. Um, the new exhaust system that we're putting on is a it's a Monza exhaust. It'll have a new resonator and then a new muffler. Um, this system is uh, from a seventy. Well, the, the engine is actually from a seventy four. Um, the uh, the car itself is a 77, so um, it doesn't have a catal catalytic converter, um, so we don't have to worry about that in, in this mix, but uh, we're going to cut this resonator out. It's kind of beat up, um, and there's also some issues with the way that it's been installed, so uh, we're going to cut this off right here at the, at the spline and see how much of this uh, original downpipe that we can salvage uh, maybe grind off this weld um, But if you look down here on the other side All right, so the problem here is that after this resonator the um, The outside dimensions of the pipe change dramatically. I mean you can see this is at the resonator and then when I get here It gets way smaller um, And it gets even worse it continue down and then there's another hodgepodge weld job here now, it even gets smaller still right here at the at the muffler. I mean, look at that. It's like a whole it's like a whole half an inch th uh, smaller pipe. Um, this is really kind of a hodgepodge welding job here too. So we're going to cut up this entire smaller piece um, and replace this with uh, part of that Monza exhaust system. So the only thing that we're going to keep here is from about right here on the downpipe and all the rest of this is going out the window with the beans um, so let's go ahead and get started cutting this thing up okay so here you can see i've uh, got the uh, the downpipe disconnected and i've managed to grind down that weld pretty well the next step here with this downpipe to salvage it is to kind of mitigate some of this rust this little bat i got here is full of uh well it's not full but it's it's got uh, sulfuric acid in it. It's um, metal prep. You can buy it at Home Depot. It's basically for etching metal, get it ready for paint. Uh, but it's also very good at, um, at killing rust. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna paint some on, and I'm gonna rinse it, and I'm gonna paint some more on. We'll get uh, we'll get a couple of good douses of uh, of uh, the uh, sulfuric acid on here. I'm sorry, phosphoric acid. It's not sulfuric. It's phosphoric acid. Um, and that'll turn the rust into iron phosphate, and that will be black by the end of it all, but it will be inert and it will no longer rust. So let's get moving with this. This is uh, de-rusting of the, uh, the downpipe. First of all, anytime you're dealing with acid, you know, you want to minimize uh, getting it on yourself. Also about three feet that direction is a deep sink, so if I get some uh, where I don't want it, I can go over and rinse it really quick. Also, you can see I've got a really um, uh, broad uh, eye protection, it's basically the entire face. You don't want to get it on you. Um, and so uh, having a, a face shield is uh, very helpful. Now I've got one container inside of another container and the idea here is I want to be able to catch a lot of it so I can reuse it, but I also want to accommodate drips. And I don't want to have drips all over the uh, all the workspace here. So this one will catch the drips, 
and this one will catch the majority of it so I can reuse it. I can cycle it back in. So, um, when this stuff's brand new, it's, it's green. A whole lot. I'm just going to be brushing it on with a brush. All right. All we're trying to do here is get coverage. Let the acid do what the acid does. Trying to avoid making too many splashes. I don't want to flick the brush, but uh, I dip the brush and let it drizzle. See how I'm doing that? I'm not flicking it. All right, we'll let that soak for a while. We'll come back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go rinse out this brush so that it doesn't deteriorate. And we'll come back and put another coat on. Okay, so there you go. A couple applications. A little bit of soaking, a little bit of drying. You can see I've rinsed it. This is uh, bare metal now. There's no more rust on the areas where I've been soaking it. The, uh, the dark, the black little speckles, those are um, iron phosphate, which are inert. They will not uh, propagate rust, so you don't have to worry about that. You can see on the back side here, this is where it was laying in the vat and soaking. So it was 100% just soaking in that. Um, it got right down to the bare metal. Uh, so right now, what I got to do is uh, I got to spray it with a little bit of WD so it doesn't flash over and rust. And when I get ready to paint it, I will um, uh, take that WD off with some uh, brake clean. Uh, but that's, uh, that's a really good way to, uh, to reclaim really rusty items um, and uh, get them back to a point where they can, they can be serviceable again and not have to worry about them rusting out. All right, so that's part one of the uh, exhaust system uh, modification here. Um, check back uh, when I do part two. We're going to install that Monza exhaust onto this downpipe. I might even do another video on how to get some dents out of pipes. So there's a couple of little dents down here on this pipe. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. But uh, anyway, uh, check back for part two and we'll, we'll put the Monza exhaust on this 77 MGB uh, chrome bumper conversion. Uh, if you like these videos, please make some comments, like and subscribe. Uh, it helps me to uh, provide more co pertinent information and, and uh, if you have some content that you'd like to share or any kind of comments, all those comments help other people in, in their projects as well. So check back when I do part two and we get up underneath this car and put that, the uh, Monza exhaust in there.